everyone, welcome back. It's Moe, Kay Swedish Whiskey Girl. And today I'm very excited because we're going to try a Swedish whiskey from one of my favorite distilleries in Sweden, High Coast. So this here is the High Coast Solera Batch 1. And some of you might already know what Solera means, but Solera is a system that you tend to use for sherry in Jerez. So the way it works is basically you have different kind of layers of casks and you fill the first batch of casks and then you don't take all of that whiskey, oh my God, all of that whiskey, all of that sherry, but you take maybe 50% and you top it up with you, maybe your new make, I don't know, that's not what it's called in within the sherry wine industry, but you top it up with new liquid. And then as time goes on, you get always a little batch of old spirit in your blend, if that makes sense. I don't know if I explained this well. But what they've done at High Coast is a really interesting experiment. So they have used 225 litre Swedish oak casks, and they have six layers, and the other ones are ex bourbon 200 litre casks, I believe. So every time they take whiskey from the Swedish oak casks, they will top the top layer up with. Uh, new make. I'm trying to understand this in my head, but it's an interesting way and I think the oldest whiskey in this system for them now is 6.34 years because High Coast is so particular with their little facts which I absolutely love. They're very very transparent so if you're curious about where their oak comes from, where the yeast comes from, where the barley comes from, how long it's been aged for, down to like almost a day, uh, I should check them out. This is their first, first batch of their Solera system whiskies and hopefully it will be a good experiment so that you'll have a lot of other ones coming out soon and it's bottled at 51 percent i actually have a little cheat note that you can see and i probably shouldn't tell you this because they are so nitpicky so i'm just gonna double check my facts when i tell you this so it's 100 percent unpeated spirit and it's those bourbon and swedish oak casts from the solera system but this is the thing on the 2nd of november 2020 they emptied 1041 kilos of whiskey from 10 different casks. They then added 101 liter of water to get it down to 50 um, to the filling to the strength that the whiskey will be at. And the 11th of September they bottled in total 2490 bottles and they will sell 1500 bottles on Sustainbolaget in Sweden and some chosen chosen stores online as well. So an interesting one. I don't have the price in pounds but in Sweden it would be 895 Swedish crowns if it's still out there and available. But yes, I'm really excited. I want to try it. <laughs> I had the pleasure of going to a tasting with Lars Karlsson uh, from the distillery and it was lovely to so try the whiskey and they are a distillery that fascinate me a lot. I can't wait to go to Sweden and drive up north to the high coast where this distillery is located and perhaps do a tour one day when the UK isn't banned from every other single country <laughs> and it's safe again of course. But let's start by having a look on the nose on this. Ooh. It's like vanilla and coconut straight away with some uh, oak. <laughs> this is the thing, I always say pine, but it's like a really, really fresh, almost if you have like a really, really alive pine tree and you take the pine needles and you rub them between your fingers and smell them, that's kind of a really fresh and alive pine tree. Definitely vanilla and coconut, that's interesting. Quite sweet, I would say on the nose. Now the oakiness is moving on from that fresh pine needles to a, uh, what's that called? Um, like newly cut wood. It has a youthful freshness about it. And some cinnamon. Maybe nutmeg. It's a bit like uh, a Santa porridge, <laughs> which is basically Christmas porridge. Um, but yes, let's have a taste. Let's go on. Hmm. 
Mmm, quite spicy. But quite velvety as well. It has a very, very clean note about it. And it's quite sweet. I still get the pine on the palette. I like this fresh, not necessarily the wood, but the pine needle scent. Along with the sweetness, which is very clean and crisp. Quite mm, Is it white sugar? Or maybe like light brown sugar, because it's a little bit thicker, the sweetness. So it has a touch of something almost tropical, like that vanilla coconut note. It's a bit ice creamy, that's what it is, a little bit of vanilla ice cream. And then it has something golden about it. Maybe golden fruits? The spice that came out was that cinnamon nutmeg note. Not very dry. Maybe the spice is coming from that Swedish oak. The finish is quite robust, but without being dry, but still quite spicy, if that makes any sense. It's, um, it has qualities in it that are quite smooth and velvety and golden, but then the finish and the groundwork is quite robust. And I don't know how to describe that in another way. It's like a, It's like it's a dram for cutting wood. I, I've told this story before about where my parents live in the summer, so you have to cut a lot of wood to, to fill up the little shed so we can use it throughout the winter, because that's how you heat up our house. So I've done a lot of that in my day. If my mom was watching this, she's gonna be like, you never do it, but I did, I did do it a lot. But I could imagine this would be a perfect whiskey for after doing that for hours. It almost has this kind of wood chip feel about it. Hmm. A wood shopping whiskey. Yeah, it's like a whiskey after a hard day's work, I think. It's lovely. I would say, for me, it's a touch too much robustness for I for what I tend to go for. I mean, I really like it, don't get me wrong, but it's... I would just want it to be a little bit smoother, but maybe that will come from longer in the Solera system, because of course it is an experiment. It's a very interesting character, if you're curious about Swedish whiskey. I mean, there are so many to choose from now and there's more coming, which will be very exciting. But I think High Coast is definitely a distillery to keep your eyes on. It's the whiskey they make. I've never been to the distillery, but from the people I've met and the people I've spoken to and the whiskey I've tried, it feels very... I don't know, the flavour just feels like very high quality in some weird way and it's just very genuine and solid and Swedish, which I like about it because it's its own thing, but very, very nice. And I know that's a bit diff I mean, I don't know if I'm actually getting across what I want to say. I mean, there's whiskey all over the world that has really, really high quality and how do you actually judge a bad quality whiskey? I mean, if you don't like it, that doesn't mean the quality is bad. But something about this whiskey has flavours that come together. Well, not just this whiskey, but the whiskey I've tried from the High Coast Distillery. They just come together to this unity that through and through just has something really solid and genuine about it. 
I don't know, if you tried Thai Coast, how would you describe it? If you had to describe the whole distillery and your flavor experience in maybe a sentence, how would you do that? It's, if someone's tried Macmira before, I would describe it as Macmira is a little bit smoother and a little bit, very, very interesting flavors because they do some really quirky things which I absolutely love. But this one is more, High Coast overall for me, if I had to like just get a general difference from my experience, is that High Coast is a bit woodier and a bit more robust, whereas Macmillan is fruitier and lighter in a way, but still with an oily fruitiness that gives it depth. I don't know if that makes sense, but <laughs> love the whiskey. Hmm, yeah. I mean, I can't wait to see what High Coast is going to do in the future. And if you have any recommendations for me, or if you've tried the Solera Batch 1, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section here below. And of course, if you want to support me and my channel, then I would be absolutely over the moon if you consider using my affiliate links the next time you're shopping with either Master Malt, Whiskey Exchange, or the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society. And all those links you'll find in the description here below, as well as links to my other social channels if you're curious about those, and my Patreon if you'd like to support me that way. I am of course massively grateful to my supporters on Patreon. It's great to have this little community where I can get your input on if you have any questions for future guests or if you want to help me choose a whiskey to review. So yeah, it's a, it's a great little community and I'm so, so grateful to everyone who's part of my whiskey journey. But I hope you've all had an absolutely wonderful day and I'll hopefully see you next time. Slanjava, skål! <laughs>